Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, if this is your first time here, hi, thank you for stopping by and watching. Um, if you are returning, thank you so much for your support. Um, today, as you can see in the description, we're gonna talk about um, the importance of nursing school being accredited and different nursing school accreditation. So if you are interested in hearing a little bit more about that, please feel free to stick around. And if you haven't already, please like, comment, share, and of course, subscribe. So stick around and we'll get into it. Right, guys let's jump right into it so if you've seen my first video you know that I talked a little bit about um, nursing school and some of the things to look out for and one of the things that I mentioned was the importance of going to a nursing school that's accredited now um, I've gotten a lot of questions about the accreditation because I, I'm starting to realize that not a lot of people realize the importance of a school being accredited now, one of the main questions I get is, well, what does, you know, accreditation mean? What exactly does accreditation mean? And what it means is simply that an institution is meeting the professional standards that has been set by a committee um, of peers, which is a group of nurses. Um, and that usually goes through an application process. It's important to keep in mind that accreditation is not a requirement, but it is um, encouraged, especially um, public universities and community colleges um, tend to be um, accredited. So you want to go to a school that's accredited because what that represents is that school is meeting the professional standards um, for teaching in that particular field of study, which in this case, we're talking about nursing. Um, it's important for a school to have accreditation because it can affect a lot of things. You can spend a lot of money and go to a school and that is not accredited and end up leaving the school one not being able to get a job um you some of the schools won't be able to qualify for grants if they're not accredited especially if the grants are government funded um, government tends not to give grants to institutions that aren't accredited so you want to keep that in mind um you know, a lot of people get financial aid for going to school. And if you're going to a school that's not accredited, that can take that completely off the table. So you want to keep that back um, in the back of your mind. Also, um, you might not be able to go sit the state exam for licensure because if the state, because um, your school, your when you are done with nursing school, your school has to recommend you and send your information off to the state to say you are eligible to take um, the licensing exam. If the school is not able to do that, you cannot sit and you will not be um, getting your license and you're not going to be able to practice as a registered nurse. You'll be a nurse, but not a registered nurse because for you to be a registered nurse, you have to be licensed. Um, also, another important thing to consider with a school that doesn't have accreditation if for whatever reason in the future you decide to go back for a higher education say a master's degree you're not something that credit may not transfer if you go, went to a, a, a school that's not accredited and then two years down the road you're like okay well i want to go for my master's degree and you want to go to a university they're not going to accept those credits it'll be like you never took the classes so you want to keep that in mind especially when it comes to what your future plans are going to be um another question that i get is which um what accreditation should i be looking for when I, when i look at a school and this is really 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 important there are different types of accreditation there's a regional and then there's national regional accreditation simply means that for that local area or that state specifically this school is meeting the requirements just for that state 
where that becomes an issue is if you study say in florida and you went to a regionally accredited school in florida and say you want to move to texas um you might have issues with transferring credits to texas because the accreditation was only for the state or the region of florida or that region where your school is in so keep that in mind another type of accreditation and this is a accreditation that everywhere you go most hospitals um hospices nursing homes most people are looking for this type of accreditation if you're going to transfer credits they want to see that the school that you went to prior is accredited by these two national bodies the first one is the accreditation commission for education and nursing or the acen um and this one usually i've seen mostly community colleges i know there is no restriction but i've mostly seen community colleges carry this accreditation um, the second one is the Commission on Collegiate Nursing Education, which is the CCNE. Um, this one is a big one. My university has that accreditation and that's one of the big ones. Um, these two accreditations, most employers, my job, I work at a hospice, but I work in the administrative office. That's when, when you graduate from nursing school or if you're gonna go to a nursing school and they're gonna pay for it, the school has to be accredited by one of these two bodies because they're national accreditation. Also, what a national accreditation means is if you study in Florida and then further down in the future, you move out of state, you can sit the board, um, the state board, more than likely in the state that you are, you can go there and sit the state board. Also, if you decide that after you've been living in your new state, I Texas again, for example, and you want to go and pursue a master's degree in nursing those credits will transfer as well because the school that you went to in florida is nationally accredited so personally i would advise you to look for schools that are nationally accredited as opposed to regionally accredited but that is up to you that is up to what your plans are all I encourage you is to go to a school that is accredited and not just, okay, well, we're accredited to teach. No, you want these specific accrediting bodies. That's very important because like I said, nobody wants to spend 40, 50, 60, especially some of these private nursing schools, you're spending thousands of dollars only for you to leave, graduate. One, you can't sit the board. And if you are by some grace, be able to sit the board, employees don't want to hire you so please please keep that in mind do not be afraid to ask about a school's accreditation as a matter of fact if the school is accredited you probably won't even have to ask because they wear those things like a banner you you won't even have to it'll be stamped somewhere um for my school when you go to the nursing um the college of nursing website the first thing that's there is their accreditation so if a school is being a little bit dodgy about that, be mindful. And like I said, not all accreditations are created equal. So based on what you want to do with your future and what your plans are, you want to look into a regionally accredited or a nationally accredited school. All right, so that's it for accreditation. Stick around. There's more videos coming up in this series. This isn't the vlog just yet because I haven't started school, but I have some information about the vlog um, for the nursing vlog. So stick around for that. And I have other videos that are coming up. Thank you for tuning in. Bye.